Hi, it's Rachel and Saucy. Uh, sorry we got cut off. This is uh, part two of Introduction to Healing. Um, so since we got interrupted, Saucy just gotten a little distressed and is a little more whiny. And so just to wrap things up, I'm going to have him do a short healing pattern just to get back in the swing of things and add a little refresher. And uh, then we'll call it good for today because he's done a great job. So come here, Saucy. Good sit. All right, remember the correct way to hold the leash. Sassy, heel. Heel. Good. Heel. Sausage is very good at healing. He is easily frightened and distracted, um, but that was really good. Uh, he was kind of sitting on me, sitting on my feet at the end there, but overall I'm really happy with how he's done. Healing seems to come really naturally to him, so just um, a few minutes uh, a day working with him at home is really going to go a long way for you. Healing is really good for his uh, safety and security when you're out on a walk. If you see something that you don't want him to um, get into or have access to, putting him in a more controlled heel keeps him right by you. Also, if you're going um, like to Petco or something like that where there are a lot of dogs, a lot of different distractions to have good control of, uh, sausage, it uh, healing comes in handy there, and it's just part of uh, basic good leash manners um, so that he knows how to appropriately act on a leash. All right, well, like I said, uh, Sausage did a very good job today. I'm very impressed with him. So uh, keep up the good work at home. This was Rachel and Sausage, and we are working on heel. <laughs>